This is mekitsi. Mekitsi. In Bansko, one of the, my favorite things. Wow. Let's say one. Huh? Yeah. And we put some uh, powder sugar mm. on. You can also have it with jelly or some marmalade. Let's try the mekitsa. Fried dough with uh, sugar on top. So every Bulgarian, how many mekitsa every morning? Uh, mm, two, three mekitsi. Two, three minimum. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Maximum. Maximum six. Six. Wow. <laughs> and so you are full all day. Yeah, you're full by the lunch. Yeah. So Bulgarians also with mekitsa, they drink this. This is called. This is called boza. Boza is made of wheat, uh, like similar how the beer is made. Okay. And they have the full grain here, and they keep it in water, and it starts fermentation. All right. And then they put some sugar on, and this is sweet, and it is um, very old school. Okay. So now Gianluca is gonna try these things for the first time. He is our Guinea pig. Let's see what Gianluca says. <laughs> it's a real Italian. Um, <laughs> like uh, I don't know. <laughs> like there is summer. nothing to compare. So <laughs> nothing to compare. Is it sweet? Yes, sweet and uh, ticky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like kind of a medicine, you know, <laughs> like a syrup, you know. Mm. Mm. This is the good one? It's a very good one. Okay. Even it has um, sweeteners instead of sugar, it oh. is tasty and it tastes, tastes properly as boza. Ah. <laughs> ah la. It's like cough syrup, really. <laughs> Hoggy! Hey. Is this the right one? This is the right one. This is the train to Yakuruda. We're going to the market now. It's a bit cool this time. <laughs> He's shaking the other train car. Wow. Because there are better windows than we can. Oh, that's cool. We are easy because it's a full of We are starting our journey to the town of Yagoruda and we're gonna visit the local market, the Saturday market. We are in the train, it's quite noisy and uh, it's full of people actually. This is perhaps the only spot where you can be smoking illegally in a train because you're not inside and you're outside. And you have the view here. Make sure you hold yourself because it is very shaky. What's the speed of this train? Uh, the average speed is about 27, 30 kilometers along the line. It's 130 kilometers and it goes for about like four and a half hours. Oh, cool. So the first station is? First station is uh, September and it goes all the way to Dobriniste and goes through Velingrad, Yakoruda, Belitsa, Bansko. We have also a parking lot here. Yeah, a lot of people are taking their bikes because it is very nice to go through Rodopi by bike. Okay, I'm trying to pass here. There is not so much space, but uh, we are doing it. Alright, here there are bigger windows. Yes. And uh, it's like first class. Hello, Stravete. Stravete is the only word I know in Bulgaria, which means hello.
but at least I can say something. train station in Europe, is it true? Uh, it is on the Balkans. Uh, it is Balkans. the highest uh, in altitude and it is uh, 1264 meters. It's called Avramovo. There you can really see a lot of mountain ranges around and a lot of people also go there to starting their cycling because you're on the peak so you can start going down and see nice villages in the Rodopi mountains. Okay. And uh, how many years is old this line? Last weekend there were 100 years anniversary on the first uh, once they started building the line. Otherwise the trains are running for more than 90 years already. We are going to Yakuruda on Saturday. There is the market. A lot of local people are going there to sell their production like milk and uh, meat stuff, like uh, carpets, you will see. Wonderful, I can't wait for that. In this area, in Rodopi Mountains, there are plenty of mosques because the population here is mixed. There are Muslim minorities, some places they are not minority. Gianni. 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 You? My name is Margarita. Margarita and? Zdravka. Zdravka. A more to him is Zdravka. So both ladies, they say her name is Zdravka. Zdravka. I took him as Zdravka. Margarita is her name. Okay. In Italian, Margarita. In da. English. I'm an Elka Margarita. Yeah. <laughs> In English, is uh, Daisy. Daisy, 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 Daisy Margarita, Daisy. like the flower. So they are taking a tour. They are from the group is from Blagojevgrad, and they are taking the train from Bansko or from Dobrinish, from Dobrinish towards Vavramovo, the highest station, and there they are going to be picked by bus. They have a picnic there, and then they will enjoy the weather and the location, and then come back. White and red colors are for health and for wellness, and they are very traditional for us. We also have Martenica in the month of March. We are making this white and red suits for for health and for luck. Thank you, grazie. Ciao. Merci. Ciao. Merci. Ciao. We just arrived in uh, Yakoruda and uh, our group uh, is coming. Stravete! So this uh, locomotive is uh, old, uh, 90 years mostly? Uh, this, uh, this, is, uh, this one is 1965 German machine and uh, they used to be used for the other uh, narrow gauge line which was running between Cervenbriak and Oryakovo and it has been closed so now this is the last one left okay. and now we are waiting for the other train to come.
the lady in this small cafe is uh, the wife of the director of the train station. So they are kind of not owning, they are maintaining the, the coffee bar and uh, her husband is maintaining, maintaining the train station. It's a family business. Then, yes. Right? Yeah. And this train which is now departing, the morning train from September, uh, they have the bistro cart or kind of a small restaurant where you can buy coffee, tea, some beer and some snacks and it's really fun to gather there. Where your passion uh, for trains comes from? I think when I was a kid, my parents were telling me stories that we've been traveling a lot along those small narrow gauge trains and now it's coming back to me and I really love the train journey. In 2012, I heard about this train on the news that they were trying to close the line and there was a guy who was trying to protect the line and now we are good friends with him and I joined their organization to be supporting the, the, the region, the train line and promoting it among uh, people who are interested in train travel. So since then my first journey was 20th of December 2012 and now almost 10, 10 years I'm regularly on the train. Every season you have the journey and it's always different because in winter you have a lot of snow here and you have completely different scenery. Now in spring it's everything in green and so colorful and so nice to see. So this journey it's very slow, it's not to be quick, it's to, just to enjoy and to be with the nature. We just found a, a cherry tree just uh, on the main road and we're gonna have some uh, food. Mm. Mm. This is cherry, the name of the dog, cherry. And the umbrella it was never for the rain, be honest, doggy. Okay, so we are just at the beginning of the market of Yagoruda, and uh, let's go and explore the area. And uh, a lot of uh, flowers here just at the beginning of the market, uh, and potatoes. Uh, and look how many cherries here, it's everywhere and so they are basically like a couple of, of dollars per kilo. Hello, hello, zdravejte! Zdravstvi, zdravstvi! And they are all the old women are selling herbs and cheese and wine. Vino, 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 zdravstvi! <laughs> Okay, here we are. It's a bit cold today, so there are not so many people. And uh, we are just at the center of market, really. It's amazing, uh, like, uh, uh, going back in time. And here we have a lot of nuts. Here in Bulgaria, you find uh, the markets, uh, a lot of nuts, cashew nuts, almonds, walnuts. And here we have a porcini mushroom dried porcini mushrooms and they are per kilo it's like one dollar mostly it's one of the highlights here on the market is at this corner there the lady is selling bananas like crazy there all right let's go to it's see one the, of the highlights the babas the, the local bananas so this is the banana corner and uh, everybody comes to buy bananas here so this market in Yagoruda is only on Saturday and this is uh, the area of uh, clothes, shoes and tools also here here we have uh, some uh, sweet corn uh, look at this oh beautiful beautiful pinky chemical color and here we have a small bar and uh, people sitting around having uh, a snack probably we will uh, stop here and here is where they cook uh, kebab cheta uh -huh. kebab cheta hello hello Zdravejte, dobre. Uh, time to get such as na na dol 
а, а английский? А английский, наверное, понимаю я. Не, он по какие-то добрые. Ну, ну. А тут это ладно, печеми. Добре, ай, пошел. Сам чиня, че смо урупали. Гофте, гофте. Да, да, убаво. Ага. Чуфте, да. Да. Чуфте, чуфте, убаво. Разбираме. And look at here, there is uh, a line. This line is for food. And they are all waiting for meat here. These are kofte. And uh, here we have kebab cheta. And here in... Uh, oh, these are the best. The, these, these are, are the best. On, uh, oh, lava stone. Lava stone. Lava stone, yes. Okay. So here they are cooking on the lava stones. It's amazing. And this is uh, the restaurant here, eating and uh, enjoying the market together. So this meat is uh, uh, basically sheep and cow, beef and sheep and this is uh, beer, beer kebab cheta. Authentic Bulgarian street food here in uh, Yakoruda beef kebacheda is the first time that I have kebacheda done with beef. Mm. Mm. It's amazing, really different taste from the pork one and uh, nice texture, really smoky flower. Mm. Okay, this is uh, sheep meat, it's very strong flavor, chewy. But tasty and uh, very fatty. So this is uh, kofte, which is basically the same meat of a kebab cheta, but there is also onion and uh, some uh, herbs and spices. There is cumin also. Let's try. Mm. Tender also this one. So you spent how much and for how many people? We are 11 people and I paid 20 leva. So it's on average 2 leva per person for the full meal with meat. Yeah, which is basically like uh, 12 dollars. Yeah, or 1 of. euro per person. Yeah, 1 euro, 1 dollar and something. Uh, And look at this uh, car guys, I think he has like uh, been here for 20 years now maybe, no? It's okay, what do you feel? You wanna enter here? <laughs> and uh, there is also some uh, moss here, look a hole here. And now we just had a walk on top of uh, the hill, the forest, there is this amazing view of the town, look how beautiful.
All right, we are back in the train uh, and it was uh, really a nice day here in uh, Yaro... Yakoruda. Yakoruda. Okay, so, okay, if someone wants to do a daily trip from Basco to Yakoruda, what do you suggest? Well, the best option to come to Yakoruda is on Saturday and take the train from Bansko at 10.53 in the morning, arrive around 12 o'clock in Yakuruda, spend a couple of hours, 3-4 hours in Yakuruda, walk towards through the market, get some nice stuff to eat, buy some local stuff and have a nice afternoon break and then be back at the station 4 o'clock, Yakuruda going back to Bansko. Wonderful. Thanks a lot, uh, Ogi, and uh, guys, hope you like this video, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, click the bell, and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye!